Hello, this is Gen X PC Gamer Guy. This is a status report on the game Breathridge of about 10 hours into the game. Right now I'm just looking at a couple items. Just showing off a couple things. My goal is to build that helmet covered with lead paint. I'm not going to try to give too many spoilers, but I've already finished chapter one in the game. I'm in chapter two. So this is this is the place I started out in. Uh, as you can see in front of me, there's a whole bunch of um, icons that look like little oxygen tanks. These are way stations in effect. You place bags of oxygen along the way. If you're like at a location, you want to explore it and you don't want to go all the way back to where you know where there's you know oxygen supply this is one of those way stations now the bags only have a 500 unit limit my personal limit on the, how much oxygen i could store was increased several times due to stuff in game so i think it's 125 at the moment so that can last a while you still limited, you, you know, without oxygen, you start taking health damage, and then if your health bar reaches zero, you die, of course. Yeah. If you get too close to big chunks of ice, you can freeze, and I almost died in the game due to freezing, because there was an objective inside the cold area, and believe me, it, it took a lot of guesswork to get out, because your screen covers completely over with ice. So here's one of those way stations. I'm going to demonstrate, you know, refilling some oxygen here. And it decreases the bag size. So there's looks like there's good enough for another load in there. Now, there are items you can get to recharge it. It's not worth it yet because it recharges it to full. And you waste the whole item. So once you build that item, you hold on to it till you absolutely need to recharge one of those bags. So I keep going here, I'm going to the next way station along the way here. It's a pretty game, I've, so I'm about 10 hours in. At first I was dying, and then I figure out you actually have to go outside to collect stuff to make food and other items. and. You need drink and uh, food, and you can create those items or find those items. And at the moment, I'm going to the next way station. So now, I was looking for items to make that uh, helmet, and that will be my goal going to this new area. I picked up paint and some other items I was storing at the old area. You can see there's another little spaceship icon in about 740 meters. Meanwhile, I'm going to stop at the next station, or over here is a place with a constant supply of oxygen. We'll see which place I decide to go to. Maybe close. Looks like I still have 100 units. I could probably skip this station over here to the left and make it all the way. So again, this is a newish area. I've not completely explored it yet. Some items uh, in the old area I couldn't open up. Hopefully I'll get a tool or something and I'll have to go back and look at some old items that... Like the coffins, say you have to open them with a magnetic like tool or something. What the gist of the game is so far is your spaceship broke up and this is like the remnants and it's all scattered everywhere and it's kind of neat. The humor's a little silly at times. I don't look as a fun game in that sense. I look at this as like, hey, this is kind of artsy and survival kind of style of game. And so this area right here has a constant supply of oxygen. So you see my uh, 
oxygen bar go up again. There's a floating steering wheel in the middle. I don't know if I'll do, you know, spoilers, but I got enough oxygen to uh, head to the next area. Sorry for the spoilers if you don't want to know any of this ahead of time. Stop the video, leave the video. But I'm just trying to show, you know, approximately where I'm at after 10 hours. I'm not, not saying I made great progress, but I made progress. I'm trying to do it, you know, natural. Just seeing if I could figure things out. So here's another station I can make stuff. So lead, yeah, that, that's my goal. There's some items that were in here left behind and body, of course. There's water, oxygen candles are used to resupply yourself from your inventory. So there's items I left behind here. Items I could use to help build the helmet. Just looking around. Ice and food and water. There's some more food there. Oxygen candle, more food. Steering wheel. I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Let's let's go out. So let's look around a bit. Yeah, I have a. a I found a way to make an accelerator. So that's what you hear. Here's some aluminum. Drill required. Okay, here's the drill. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's one of those coffins. Irradiation. It's just a warning, I'm not dying or anything yet should be able to break this apart. Ooh, stuff. Good stuff. Oxygen is halfway down. So this is not going to be a long video or anything. I just... I'm going to try to show you my effort to try to make the helmet. And how quickly maybe I can make it. But, yeah, this is approximately where I'm 10 hours. Nope, still missing glass. There's no recipe for glass at this point. Gotta find it. And the game is pretty. I do recommend that you just, if you find containers, break them open, see what, what's in them. Scissors. We've got lots of scissors. Oh, oh my handy scraper. Yep, yeah, I got a spare. Yes, that's a recommendation. Always carry a spare. Oh, I'm full up. Oh, should have dropped some stuff off. We'll go drop some stuff off. Oops. Okay. You can see I have really good mortar control of myself in the game. Scissors. And let's start with food. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody named Babe who just keeps trying to, try to send me funny messages. Apparently, they need rescuing eventually. Let's see what else can I put away?
There's one glass. Eh, too bad. So in space here, you know, there was the freezing danger, um, and then there was the radiation danger. Those seems to be the two main ones. I'm assuming there'll be a fire hazard at some point, but fire in space, so it's mostly heat. Let's take a look over here. Some wires. The durability of the engineering <laughs> modules is impressive. Even such asteroids couldn't crash them. <laughs> Still got plenty of oxygen. Nope, none of the glass. Let's see what this junk is. Yeah, yeah, radiation. Doesn't seem to be at the danger level yet. Looks like more food and goo and titanium. Yeah, let's head back to be safe. Drop off more stuff. Nope, no more glass. None of it was glass. Hitting the wrong key. Off more stuff, wires, titanium. Ooh, got a good supply of titanium. Lead, plastic. Let's go back out. What else is in here? Radiation. Let's see what this is. This is it. Oh, I wasn't good. sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Hmm. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you that the special magnets built. I could uh can be used to eventually open the back panel of Breath Edge Goblin. I can make uh, the tool I need to make. explanation about this. I have no right to inform you that Breath Edge Agency coffins exchange information with each other concerning obstacles flying by in order to avoid collisions in space. Collecting this information would help determine the trajectory of the captain's bridge, which in turn will determine the coordinates of its collision with the oh. liner. Okay. So we gotta do 200 coffins? I, I've probably seen 10. I guess that's gonna take a while. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I could make this tool. Only one glass still. I'm gonna need to eat and drink soon. Drop off the ice. Still looking for glass. Nope, that's goo. oxygen bag here earlier so I can keep exploring this area. What's there to look at? Hmm, 
plastic and wires. Yeah, yeah, radiation. Wires. Doesn't seem to be much. Ooh, more junk. Salt. I had a use for it, I'd grab all of it. Right now, no use for it. Oh, some things to break. Cool. Ooh, wires. Construction kit. Hammer, chisel, and nails. It's according to material. Even before you use them, it looks like junk. Time to replenish some oxygen. Step out in the middle of nowhere. Master key, I just need thick electrical tape. Ooh, I got plenty of that. Or I could make it. I don't know. Not electrical tape. No, no nothing's just lying about. Alright, let's see if I have any in here. I have the components for it. Thick electrical tape. Tools, Magnet magnetic master key. <laughs> Used to be called a crowbar, but the game dis designer conspired with the translator and threw a tantrum. Just looking at the construction kit. Doesn't seem to be usable. Looking over some items here. All right. Oxygen generator, like there, is what's used to ref refill those bags out there. Let's see if we can use the new tool. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge Agency coffins is commercial classified information, and therefore I cannot advise you to turn on the magnet, attach it to the lock, and pull the trigger to dislodge the locking hmm. mechanism. You'll have to figure it out yourself. What's this? Resin supply. I don't think I need any more resin right now. Washer. Look like a washer. Ooh, something to break. Fine metal. Still not another glass.
I'm going to end this video pretty soon. I uh, just wanted to show status of where I'm at and trying to gather materials to get to the next chapter, it looks like. Let's go inside. Let's look. No, no glass yet. All right. I'm just looking over this. So my goal to building that helmet is so close, I just got to find glass. Uh, that, that could be anything. I'm going to save here. And that's it. I'm going to quit the desktop. Thank you for watching my video. I am Gen X PC Gamer Guy, and take care of yourselves out there. Bye bye.